Okay, today we're going to talk about how to extract information from a CSV file uh, with Python and put it into an SQL uh, database. So a CSV file is uh, a basic text file and, and CSV stands for a comma separated values. And the data set I'm looking at here is a fragment of a larger data set uh, from NASA on exoplanets. So exoplanets are planets that have been discovered around other star systems uh, in the universe. And this is just kind of a little data set uh, describing a few of those planets uh, and some information about them. And if you want more about that, you can go to the NASA site, and uh, they certainly have a lot more information you can play with. So again, a CSV file is, you know, the key feature is the comma structure there. And, you know, each row is a record, and then the fields will simply be the columns separated by a comma there. So, for example, here you've got, you know, a numerical value, and then separated by a, a comma, which says, okay, we're going to start a new field, new piece of information, and so forth. So we can use Python, you know, really nice. it works really nicely with this kind of format, and uh, create some kind of uh, database with it. So I've written a simple program, and first thing we do is import uh, SQLite, and then uh, our CSV uh, library as well, so that, we're going to need that to read our um, files. And then we're going to initialize uh, an SQL uh, database, and we're going to call it Exoplanet, and initialize our cursor so we can communicate with the database. And the first thing we're going to do is drop the table if it already exists. So, you know, if we make a mistake here and we need to rerun the program, we just simply pretty much start from scratch. And then um, first thing then we'll do is actually create a table, a database in SQL and, the, you know, named Exoplanet. And then these will actually be the fields that we're creating for that. So it's a very, very simple table that we're creating. So, uh, you know, again, we're going to make the first four columns text values, and then the last three will be uh, real values. And again, like I said, you know, sometimes the uh, CSV files already have the column names, so we can simply adjust for that in our program. And then uh, we're going to pull in the actual name itself of, you know, enter the Exoplanet CSV file name, and if we don't have it, we'll just default to this one here, which is our example one. And from there, you know, we use the open command here. So we're going to open our file name, you know, give it a new name at CSV file. And then uh, we'll actually use the reader function on that file. And the delimiter will be the comma. So it's saying, okay, we're using this file name and it's a CSV type file. So we need to make sure that the delimiter is a comma. And then we simply go through each of those rows, okay? And I put in a print row here so we can actually see the structure of the CSV file as Python interprets it. And let's go ahead and actually run the program at this point. Actually, I've already run it here. I can run it again. Let's clear that and run it again. And you can see basically that it's reading each of those rows and putting in a very, very nice uh, format here, a list format, which Python just loves. And because of that, we can use the index functions to pull out the data. So for example, this is, you know, position zero, position one, position two, and so forth. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. So, you know, in uh, position zero is the Kepler ID, position one is the coin name and the Kepler name. So these are kind of basic descriptors here. The status, whether it's confirmed or not. Uh, the period, so this will be the orbital period of a planet in units of days. Uh, the radius, so the radius of a star or planet uh, depends on what you're looking at here, but in units of solar radius, Earth radius respectively and the equilibrium temperature of a planet in degrees Kelvin. So again, those are what we're extracting, and you know, I just happen to know the positions and what they represent from the CSV file. You know, if you have a more complicated CSV file, 
Uh, sometimes, like I said, they provide the headers, uh, which can be very helpful. And then uh, we simply insert them into the fields, into the database fields, and the actual values that we've just extracted. And that's pretty much it. So again, very, very simple. And let's go ahead and take a look and see if it actually did it when we ran it. Ah, and sure enough, there it is. So there's our field names and exactly what we wanted out of this program. Uh, you know, there's probably a simpler ways to do this here, but I just wanted to kind of expand it out a little bit so you can actually see, you know, how that indexing works on each of those rows and how it pulls it out. And I also, you know, want to show you that in some cases there was actually blanks there. Okay, and the nice thing about SQL is that it will you know accommodate those so for example you know here in number row number nine you had this blank there which is kind of bracketed by two uh, comma values and you can see that when we run it it actually adjusts for that too so it's not gonna you know screw up your table or anything like that anyway hope that helps and uh, that's it for now